today we're going to talk a little bit about sleeper sofas, um, just to give you guys a little bit of a reminder about all the great things about Lazy Boy sleeper sofas. So first off, I just want to remind you the sizes that we offer. You'll have a twin, a full, and a queen size available. Um, the grid that you see shows which styles are available in which of those sizes. Um, so you'll see of the sofas that we offer as a sleeper, queen's available on everything. And you've got um, eight, it looks like, that are available as the queen. Um, you'll have two that are available as twin and three that are available as full. Um, so you'll have those there. One quick note, the sizes of the mattresses are all 71 and a half inches long. Um, so we know that our sleeper mattresses are shorter than a standard mattress. Your typical mattresses are 75 to 80 inches in length for a twin, a full, or a queen size bed. And so just make sure that we're noting that to customers, um, that they are a couple inches shorter because they do need to fold up into that mechanism um, to fit into the sofa. So they do end up being just a little bit in length different than a standard mattress. A um, couple of things I like to point out when I'm doing a sleeper sofa demo. Um, first things first is you'll have the adjustable incline headrest. So that headrest does lift up. So if you've got people that like to lay in the bed and watch TV in the guest room, or if they just like to sleep with a little bit more support under their head, that is an adjustable incline head. You do have to have it closed flat to be able to get the mechanism to close back into the sofa. Um, but that's a great feature that we offer on all of our sleepers. Um, that's part of the mechanism. And then just a reminder that on all of our sleepers, the outside and the back are all padded. Um, that's standard on all of our stationary sofas now, but I just like to remind people about that on our sleepers. It does give that added structure, especially with the mechanism moving around. You have a tube support for the frame and the legs. You'll notice that it's one tube that goes all the way across, so you don't have individual legs. Um, and you'll notice that it's also set back. So if you're in an area, where when the sleepers open, it's very tight and you have to kind of shuffle sideways at the foot of the bed. Um, that initial leg rest is set back far enough so that you don't have to worry about it being a trip hazard if you're walking through those tight spaces. And the last one that's on here is also you get your throw pillows included. So all of our stationary frames have accessory pillows that come with them. You can choose contrasting fabric and that's a good way to dress up a sleeper sofa. You do have three. Um, mattress options. So you'll see our three image lineup here. So you've got your Supreme Comfort, that's your standard mattress. Um, and that's what comes on all Lazy Boy Sleep Sofas. It's our inner spring mattress. Um, it's an okay mattress. It gives you uh, a comfortable night's sleep and it does have come with a five-year warranty. And then you've got your two upgrade options. So your Slumber Air mattress is a five and a half inch inner spring. So the regular mattress that you'd see in Supreme Comfort. And then there's a four and a half inch channeled air mattress on the top, and that's all encased in the zipper cover um, protector. That also comes with a five-year warranty if your customer chooses to upgrade to that option. Your third option is our Temper Response uh, Tempur-Pedic mattress. Most of you guys should see that in your stores. If not, I know there are a few in your warehouse, or there were, I guess, last time I checked. And that gives you a five inch mattress overall. It's designed in layers, so similar to our zoned cushion on stationary, you do have layered construction in the mattress, um, and it's encased in an eye clean fabric, so it's a little bit different look. It's going to be easier to keep clean, and then that comes with a three-year warranty overall. A um, couple notes on the Temper Response mattress. When it first gets delivered, it may feel very firm. It depends on the weather. Again, Temper Response memory foam is temperature sensitive. And so the initial firmness, firmness will begin to soften within about 12 hours. Um, when they tested it at the R&D facility, they put it in zero degrees um, freezing in a freezer for 14 hours, took it approximately 12 hours for the foam to fully recover in a room that's 73 degrees. So that being said, if your customers keep their home if the air conditioning is cranked up in the summertime and it's anywhere below 64, I don't think anyone keeps their room that cold, um, but you will start to notice an increase in the firmness of the temper foam mattress if the room does reach that lower temperature uh, below 64 degrees. 
Um, they do not recommend using heating pads or electric blankets with the temper response mattress um, because again, it's a temper temperature affected foam. You wanna make sure you're not adding anything to the surface that could affect the um, support and structure of the foam itself. One of the Val packs that we offer is your sleeper promotion. Uh, this one did have a change in April market. So I wanna make sure we talk about that today. So we've gone from the four styles to three styles. And what you'll see is we've added Kennedy into the mix. So you have Leah and you have Amanda, those stayed, um, but we've added Kennedy into this grouping. So those are your three styles that are in the sleeper savings Val pack now. You've got the fabrics listed here. So you've got Becker, McKittrick, I Flanagan, I Hallandale, and I Halifax. Um, and those come in a variety of different colors. Each one's listed there. You do also get your free P1 option with this Val pack. Um, so you'll have a variety of sizes, a variety of fabrics, great price points all around, and then that free P1 option. So you can really customize a sleep sofa for someone um, pretty cost effectively with your special savings uh, handles. And if there's any questions, you guys feel free to let me know. My contact information's here. 